Welcome to the dojo, baby, man. Have no fair taekwondo is here, man. Listen, I had to do this video because I know the dojo just hit 100K, baby. We let. Listen, man, we did that. 100K, no features. We did that. I need y'all to, like, sit there and really celebrate that, really appreciate that, bro. I mean, we, you know what I'm saying? And it was a speed run. Little, little 100K side quest XP speed run. We did it, like, six months, bro. Literally, like, six months, man. Uh, you know, October 9th will be the, you know, anniversary or whatever of that day that I posted that first simp or pimp, which started it all. I've been doing content before that. It was like gaming related and stuff like that. And I had another channel that was like, you know, about spirituality, mental health and shit like that. So, hold on, I'm a little congested, y'all. So, it's like, it's like almost hard to talk a little bit, but we're going to get through it. Like I said, though, after that other channel and seeing like the positive impact I wanted to make with a certain community and seeing that it's really happening now. Like, bro, we got one of the most unique communities when it come to this shit, bro. Like, I, all communities have their one thing to them. Either it's the, the content creator just has clout or the community is, like, super toxic or whatever, bro. We have, a po we have a community oriented around honor, integrity, positivity, and being smooth. Sending them to Dooney land in the back of the Dooney van straight to the gulag. Y'all know we in a Dooney van right now, too. Listen, I want to roll my window down. It's so fucking hot in this car. But listen, man. It's time to talk. If you follow me on Instagram... You already know. <laughs> I'm going to try to put it like right here. Right? But what you should see is me and Grace had a, had a phone call conversation, my boy. <laughs> oh, we Listen, we was on the phone for 45 minutes. Oh, my fault. I forgot the mic. We was on the phone for 45 minutes, bro. Now, listen. I'm not going to be too federal, because that's not even type boy. That's not even type dude I am. You know what I'm saying? But when I tell y'all, we got chemistry like carbon and hydrogen. Like oxygen and hydrogen, like motherfucking chemical bonds. I'm going to be honest, like Grace. You know what I'm saying? I, and listen, I'm going to say that for when we actually go to the, uh, whatever. I'm not going to say the nickname I gave her. But listen, me and her, I ain't going to lie. From that conversation, it should be some good ass content. Because we just got good energy, good vibes talking between us. And it's naturally like... <clears throat> Actually, I'm a little congested, y'all. It's naturally like we, me and her have like a very, and mind you, this comes from Taekwondo. I, when, when I'm like, when it's, when I'm like flirting with a girl, right, it always works best when the girl has like a certain type of energy to her. Like, I can't flirt with a brick wall and I can't flirt with something that like, that feel like, like it's too bougie. But with Grace, like she got real good energy, but like her personality cool as fuck. So like, I'm like flirting with her, but we also vibing at the same time. Like I said, I got real hope for our content. It's going to be some lit ass content. We already came up with some dope ass video ideas while we was talking on the phone. Mostly the rest of the phone call was us. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit between us. So. <laughs> so, you know, we started talking shit, bro. But listen, man, it was it was a good ass conversation. So that's already stamped. That's already booked in. Shout out to P2 is the name for that man. Shout out to Pimp2 supporter the dojo man. He offered that grace date probably when I had like 40k, bro. So that just lets you know that like he wasn't in it for like the clout or trying to build it up. He really was trying to just give me an opportunity to collaborate. Mind you, at the time I probably had like 40, 50k. He had like four million, bro. So for a content creator with four million to, to shout out somebody that got 40k, bro, that shit really mean a lot, man. So shout out to P2 for giving me a chance. You got. Little Billy on the bike back there. Don't God knows what. But listen, it's also a lot that I look forward to in general, bro. Like collaborations overall, nigga. We outside. We outside. I know Fresh and Fit was trying to get me on the podcast. I'm actually, I actually really want to do that. So I'm, I'm gonna try to hit them up about that. I was debating it just because like shit got a little rough. You know what I mean? But I couldn't do it anyway because it's a hundred K shit. But now we got a hundred K. Now we're gonna be outside, man. So let me know in the comments any content creators y'all want to see me collaborate with. Just keep in mind though, we the dojo, the mafia, the family. We built different. We're not in content for the same reason reasons of these content creators so no disrespect to them and you know them being entertaining and stuff like that but don't just think that i can collaborate with anybody because it just is like about clout and content y'all know it's not about that for me if it was about clout to me i would have been put a demon in this i would have been put a demon in this passenger seat did whatever pranks and stage whatever videos i wanted to <coughs> bro i hate when i'm sick bro like my voice just sound like some dog shit but like i'm saying bro y'all know it's not about the clout to me it's about the impact and the influence bro the positive impact we making as a community and how y'all get to see me as a content creator y'all respect really be who i say i am on camera and off camera listen now grace can vouch i'm even more dangerous off camera my boy y'all that fucking <sighs> but listen man 
It's a lot that I really look forward to, man. I'm, I'm actually excited that, like, this will be, like, a new chapter for us. A lot that's about to open up for us. But at the same time, you gotta realize this is also when content creators start to, like, switch up or something. They get real bougie on y'all, man. Fuck the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's how they get real bougie though Because they like, you know what I'm saying, this shit get to their head But y'all really changed my life You know what I'm saying, I look at y'all like my family, bro The Dojo, the Mafia, the family So even when I think of blowing up and, you know, doing collaborations and shit like that I'm still remembering, like, my purpose with this shit My whole reason for creating content My whole reason for even starting these videos Or, or making them and what, you know, what motivated me to keep making video after video after video For the last, bro, we've been uploading damn near every day for the last five months, bro Four or five months you know what I'm saying? Non-stop. Then going live on Twitch for four or five hours. Then starting Patreon. Like, y'all, bro, y'all seen the grind, bro. Like, I had gave up a UPenn internship in the beginning of the summer. A paid UPenn internship on Alzheimer's research. Once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I gave that up just to create content. Um, Same thing with school, going to college. Took off this semester to pursue content. And obviously, it's paying off. Because we, at, when I first did it, we probably had, like, 50K. But now uh, I doubled that subscriber count, making more than I did then. I'm more consistent, you know what I'm saying? This shit is also under control. That's another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is that, like, honestly, now that the things are coming, it's the timing is actually matching a little better. But I thought that, like, as soon as I hit 100K, like, things just wouldn't smoothly happen because there was a lot of things that I was doing off camera. Now, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, bro, I probably post there all the time or Twitter or something like that. Y'all want to stay on those if you're on YouTube because you're more likely to be updated with me. You know what I'm saying? So, especially on Twitch and shit like that. I'm not just trying to advertise my other shit. Like, I actually talk on there more. But the idea is that, you know, I had to, I, I got an attorney. I got an accountant. Um, There's a lot of stuff that I was doing off camera related to that. As y'all know, Taekwondo is a C corporation. I'm not just a sole proprietor or I don't have an LLC. I went a tear above a C corporation, buddy. Address me with respect. But listen. With that being said, it's a lot of other stuff. Like, since this since this stuff blew up so fast, like, y'all literally watch this, bro. We went from zero. I don't care how early you got here, bro. I don't care how late you got here. You know this shit blew up fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, y'all already know, like, we play chess in the dojo, man. We we play to win. So, with, with that opportunity being presented to me and me realizing how much money content creators make and you know how, like, I'm going to try probably try to put it up here, but it was like this whole article shit where it talked about how, like, there's a creator economy. Where, like, content creators have more leverage and power than they've ever had, bro. Like, just think of Aiden Ross at that boxing event that he was narrating with, uh... I can't remember who he was sitting with. I think he was probably sitting with Zeus and Bilu or something like that. But he was at the boxing event narrating it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Logan Paul or Jake Paul, I don't remember which one fought Floyd Mayweather. That never would have happened, bro. So, y'all see how, like, content creators is really coming up. Bro, Twitch just got leaked. I've been was telling y'all on Twitch. See, Twitch gang really know. I've been was telling y'all on Twitch about that, that dude, XQC. I told y'all he's a demon. Twitch just got the information leaked. He's the second highest paid content creator on the app and i told you he probably makes more from his youtube channel he made in the last two years on twitch and some change he made almost 10 million on twitch alone i was literally trying to tell y'all about that dude xqc is pulling in bank you see what i'm saying and he was one of the content creators where i was telling y'all like that's where like if you blend like some of that and like that's where i honestly want to take it like i'm i where i'm gonna be honest with y'all bro i don't even look at 100k as the moon I kind of look at 100k like we just get in the space or the rocket just taking off why because i see us getting way bigger I see us going way further. Don't get complacent. Don't say, you know, we can celebrate that we got 100K. Bro, it probably sound like I'm breathing hard as shit. Like, I'm telling y'all, my throat a little congested as fuck. But don't say we got 100K and then be like some sort of satisfied with it, bro. Like, I'm not satisfied, bro. I'm hungry as ever. If anything, bro, I don't even mean to sound arrogant. Because I'm really more grateful and appreciative than anything, bro. Like, I really love our growth in our community. But if anything, 100K just feels even further away from 500K. Even further from a million. Or even further from some IRL shit I want to do for my city or the community. Any ways that I want to get a child involved, bro. Like, my mind is so much on the bigger picture that it's kind of hard for me to even celebrate small wins because I'm so 10 steps ahead of myself. You know, I take one day I take one day at a time. But at the same time, bro, I'm, I'm as hungry as ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working. I'm still grinding. Like, for 100K, I just went out, took some pictures, ate with a friend. We recorded this, a video that might be on his channel. If it is, I'm going to link it in the description. But, like, bro, I'm really, like, I'm trying to go harder, bro. I'm really trying to go harder. I don't see 100K as it's one of our milestones, but we have a lot to do. It's the dojo of my for the family to the moon to Saturn and we leaving the solar system a limp won't even know we exist so with that being said like once I get like that um once I get like that that account stuff set up I should be going to LA next weekend like today is I think like the ninth or some shit let me, let me pull up my phone bro today is the seventh today is the seventh so yeah this weekend coming up it's going past and then next weekend by then 
I should have all my other shit set up where like I got my business bank account set up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fly my man's out with me, my, my closest friend, pay for his whole trip and give him like a whole check to come with because technically he's like my assistant now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm able to hire my man's now. Like this this is how y'all changed my life, bro. Y'all got me going to LA for business opportunities. Fun business though. Y'all giving me chances to meet new people and do new things. Y'all not only changed my life, bro, y'all changed my family's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, my kids, kids gonna eat because of this. My mom, my grandma, my sister, like, you know what I'm saying? All the type of shit, bro. I got a lot of siblings. That's another thing. I feel like y'all don't know much about me. Like, for my next video, I probably could do, like, a Q&A, a, a get-to-know Taekwondo kind of thing. But, yeah, it's a lot to me, bro. Like, and I'm so happy and so, and I look really look forward to our future, man. We finna change this whole content shit. And y'all already know, like, with me, bro, I don't really view myself as a content creator, bro. Like, I just look at it like I'm just a human with a camera, bro. I don't, y'all already know, like, no matter how big we get, and, and all my OGs, all my early guys can vouch for this. I never changed since then. <clears throat> I never changed since then, bro. Like, literally. I always been telling y'all, like, it's not about the clout to me. It's not about the numbers. None of that. I appreciate that. And all that tells me is that it's more people that fuck with our movement. It's more people that support in the dojo. It's more family that we have. To me, it's not about old clout or flex this ratio that. Yeah, that shit is basic Type shit, bro Like, all this money come up Bro, I'm probably not even gonna get a bust down I'm at the same fucking Apple Watch Which is already expensive in itself The same, like, fucking Walmart Akatsuki ring I got my Shane little Naruto hoodie You would think I'm a big-ass Naruto fan, bro Whole time, this is just random-ass merch put together But like I said, even our merch Even our merch I want our merch to be something you could wear with your actual clothes I don't want it to just be Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you only from the dojo, you could wear that I want it to be like, you might got a fire-ass outfit And you put on the merch You know what I'm saying? So you two birds, one stone You're not gonna do any demons out And you repping the dojo you see what I'm saying? So, it's a lot that I have planned, and I want y'all to know that it's a lot going on behind the camera, a lot of stuff that I'm working on, only because I want this thing to be ran a certain way. I want our community to be built in a certain way. So, the foundation is really important before I start breaking out and collaborating with other people and stuff like that. And also, like I said, it's not about how much clout somebody got to me when I collaborate with them, bro. It's their character. Like, if I don't respect them, if I don't see myself, like, seeing eye to eye with them, if I don't think I can, like... You know what I'm saying? They're not the type of person I don't respect their character or their, their moves. I'm not going to collaborate with them. I don't care how much content they got. Random Steve about to walk by. But listen, I don't care, bro. So don't just think that I'm, you know, 100K features now. We just collaborate with everybody. We're not about to go crazy, man. It was never about that. It's about the dojo, the mafia, the family, man. So I'm not sure. This might be like the roughest. IRL video ever, bro. Like, I'm not going to edit none of this. This is just going to be me talking to the camera. Like I said, though, for my next video, I'm going to do a mukbang or whatever. Not a mukbang, but I'm going to do a, I probably will do a Q&A. Let me know in the comments if I want a Q&A, some stuff y'all want to ask me. I'm going to do the polls on Instagram. Keep in mind, we do have an e-date Friday, which is tomorrow, October 8th. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be letting the guys know tonight that they are selected, and I'm going to be asking the other content creators if they want to be in it. So listen, look out for those. Look out for the collabs. Yes, I said collabs, not collaboration, my boy. Look out for all that, man. Listen. Go ahead.